and uh, and uh, I am smart and smart yeah. enough to know that you are one fine piece of ass. Okay, all right. Look, I would I would uh, have more to say if I wasn't uh, quarantining with my family right now, and I don't want I don't want them to hear anything uh, that could de- be deemed suspicious from upstairs. Uh, so I'm gonna be a little, uh, gonna tread lightly. I but think. just just but, just just say. But just, just say no. There's a lot of my um, now. There's a lot of a mind. Uh, Some fine girl. Yeah. I can... I'm sure that oh. would work. Yeah. Hey, if they want to hey talk John. to you. Uh huh. Oh, wow. John. Is that You're Jill? So oh my god. Oh, oh my Whoa. god. Is that Jill? Is... <laughs> you have the you have the Tinder profile with the <laughs> issue plug, don't you? <laughs> You're going insane. <laughs> You're actually losing it. I think this is what happens it. when you leave Twitter. You just you start to lose no, grasp on reality. Yeah, you've gone more than insane. You no, no, I don't know about that. See, Twitter sometimes I feel sucks. like I need to leave it. Yeah, it does suck, but it also keeps me grounded in reality a little bit. Just I, I saw so I can tweet. be aware of how terrible the world is. I have to stay on it. I know? saw I saw a fucking tweet that said. I think someone said, if I was a 26-year-old dating a 21-year-old, I would expect to go I to saw jail. That. Yeah. And then yeah. there was what that reply with- was like, <laughs> like, adults should not be dating college students. Like, <laughs> It's very true, especially college students on, in their senior or junior year. You definitely want to stay clear of anybody in that age range because that, you, I, well, I mean, you, you're getting into some dangerous waters with power dynamics and really the age of consent should probably be moved up to 30 if you ask me. I, yeah. I mean, but that's just yeah, well, I know. I think cents. you should, I, I think 45. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could see that too. I think if you want to be really just extra safe about it. Um, but and this is it's kind of weird that we're going in that direction that Twitter society is heading in that yeah. direction because it's a hierarchy of hot takes mm-hmm. and there's how hot can we get exactly it is exactly that it's because constantly once pushing people have the exhausted boundaries. one avenue once they've exhausted one thing they have to go on to this new thing and then they're like oh well how hot can we get here and soon it will be hotter than that mm-hmm. and people someone will say something like yeah all your parents are pedos or i think people just intentionally a lot of the times people just intentionally say things that they know are going to be provocative because then they're going to get a lot of interaction Inter- exactly uh, yeah. it's in a, it's and so i get it it's- kind of yeah it's i mean i feel like a lot of stuff like that is trying to bait people but also there are I mean, people it's that a really currency. think that yeah definitely i mean that's just how twitter it's, works it's, and, yeah and i think i think that's why i just dislike it and that's why I'm not going to be on it. And I don't know when I'm going to be on it, if I'll ever be on it. Yeah. Because it's just, it's not really about what people say. It's more about how provocative can they be in the process of it by mm-hmm. playing into a crowd mm-hmm. of people who are riled up already. And I think that's toxic. I don't think that's helpful at all. No, um, it's, it's an entirely toxic place, but in in a weird sort of sadistic way that's why i enjoy going on it sometimes i i feel like i'm in an abusive relationship with twitter because as much as i would like to say that i despise my time on it i just can't i can't turn away and i i, I don't even want to know how much time i spend on it per day uh if i looked at my screen time i would probably have a mild stroke and i just don't want to there are certain things i don't want to know but at yeah. the same time, I also have to take certain breaks, like uh, like leading up to a video release. Like if I'm really trying to grind a video out, a video that I've been procrastinating for a little too long, I'll usually stay off of Twitter for a little bit because that can serve well, as a, a costly distraction. I've learned so. Yeah, I, I do. I, I feel like yeah. I, as bad as my addiction gets. I um I can control it at, at times when I really have to. But what about you? How have you been lately? Well, um, I'm working on this video. Been working on this video. Yeah, I you know, know you've been working about. on this one for a, a long time. By the time this is out, the video should be ooh, out. Ooh, ooh, okay. Mm. And it's not not gonna be short to say the least <laughs> no would you say it's your your longest video right yes yes yeah. i would say it's my longest video by a fair bit 
fair, mm-hmm. fair, fair bit, fair bit. Yeah, just um, <laughs> which is saying a lot because mo- yeah. what, what's your longest video right now? Is it the Slazo video or is it? I get, I or, not entirely one of the sure. Onision videos. I yeah, my Onision trilogy combined was long. But obviously, right. I didn't release them in one installment, which this video will be one installment. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a lot. Which, oh, it's going to be a lot, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually I'm very had, much looking forward to it. Yeah, and uh, we made a deal, didn't we? <laughs> we we did a make deal. a deal. Uh-huh. Should I... Made should a I, deal. R- should I... Let them know oh, what the well, deal is. Maybe, maybe they'll find out the deal, but um, yeah. but uh, obviously there will be a settlement <laughs> out of court <laughs> provided uh-huh. that uh, jo- John, Joe, Joe, yeah, Joe, Jay. Joe Aubrey, <laughs> yeah, as they like to say. <laughs> <laughs> Provided that John tweets out an endorsement, mm-hmm. um, which implies some information, some very, very true, real, honest information <laughs> that is definitely a hundred percent factual. What if I decide that uh, I don't like the video? Do you still want me to be one hundred percent honest? Well, then the lawsuit will follow <laughs> through. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't want to mess with your and, lawyers. I feel like... Oh... Yeah. You could probably yeah, be your you own lawyer. Mess- I actually. would be my own lawyer. I would scare You'd you a lot. Be. Yeah, you're, you are intimidating. Um, Am I? No, you're kind of a, a bottom in a lot of ways. Oh, very much a bottom. A beta that's bottom. That's very nice. I, I'm <laughs> sure I am. I'm sure that's the side you'll see of me. When I annihilate <laughs> you, <laughs> it's so ominous. I like it, um, but I actually thought that I was going to be approached by lawyers when I did the eight passengers video recently because everybody oh, really? else, yeah, everybody else, and I, I do mean like everybody who talked about eight passengers were hit with uh, cease and desist. Um, mm-hmm. Like, I mean, ready to glare talked about it. Um, creep show art I'm pretty sure and I definitely know Deaf Noodles was hit and uh, I was like fully expecting to be like contacted by somebody after that video went up but the video has been up for I guess a month now and I still haven't gotten anything so I, I, do you feel I a bit call left that out? a win yeah I mean I do f- I, it would have been cool to go to court um, over over something like that but at the same time, I am a bit relieved, I have to say. Um, so, um, if they're sending out all these cease and desist to other people, does this mean they're fine with you and they're like, oh, you can carry on talking about us? I really have no idea, I guess. I mean, that's the only way I can I can interpret it. I haven't actually watched that one yet. Yeah. So, you're going to have to tell fan. me what the eight you passengers You don't actually support represent. me. Well, okay. Um, eight passengers are a uh, they're a family channel that they've been posting for quite a bit and they've got six kids eight implies the entire family and uh, uh yeah they kind of they came under fire um i guess in june for um what they had done was accidentally leaked some private information that kind of made the parents look not the best, particularly Ruby. She, um, they made a video. Well, people noticed that, uh, I mean, they just noticed some weird stuff with one of the oldest, one of the eldest sons. I guess the eldest son, there's only two. And um, they decided to finally address it on camera in a vlog that they actually ended up taking down for um, <laughs> obvious reasons. Ooh. But yeah, they in the in the vlog, it came out that uh, that kid, the oldest kid who was 15, had been, well, I mean, like previously he had been shipped off to a, um, to a wilderness camp be- to fix some behavioral issues that were never specified. <laughs> and uh, that was always public on their channel. They were very like, oh, we're sending him off to this camp. And that happened back in October. And then he recently came back 
And uh, once once he got home, they it turned out that he he had to sleep on a beanbag chair because of a prank that he pulled on his brother. And again, I really wish I could remember the time, like the time frames of all of this. Um, but he was forced to when they moved. They were like in the middle of moving house, and uh, he was not. They, they didn't give him a room at first. They just gave him, they, they said he could sleep on a beanbag chair and that was it. And he slept on a beanbag chair for a very long time. And that never was public until he said it in that vlog that I mentioned. And uh, a lot of people, a lot of people got mad at that understandably and they mm -hmm. ended up taking the video down which only makes them look worse and then they doubled down and they were like well you know sometimes harsher punishments are necessary blah 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 and it just it it, it just devolved into this thing where every time ruby opened her mouth um she would just incriminate herself even more and eventually i guess they just stopped talking about it but for a while they would try to shut down anybody who who even like stated facts about like like just covered like what they had said just given a recap which is what uh, ready to glare did on her channel right like she didn't say anything that was um that it could be she could be taken to court over but uh whatever it was it, it was absolutely ridiculous and people people were mad of course that's that's one incident on top of like years of content that people began to comb through which was like just examples yeah. of ruby being uh, not the greatest mother to her kids like she she made her uh kinder or i guess first grade like age daughter um pack her own lunch and uh there there was one day where she forgot to pack it and so she just didn't eat lunch that day and she's like well it's her responsibility to pack her own lunch it's like that kid's six. I don't understand how you can expect them to, to be that diligent about yeah those kinds of things. But I don't know. It was just things like that that started to build up. And it kind of created this narrative that Ruby um, is not the the parent that she pretends to be, on, you know, for her channel of like five million subscribers. That says a lot of subscribers. Yeah, and of course that brings into question like just the issue of family vlogging in general and how good that can be, how beneficial it can be for children and like with the effects that daily vlogs have on people because the, the youngest daughter in that family has literally been a part of that channel since it started. The first video is like the gender reveal uh, of that kid. And it's like, uh, yeah, so real. she's just been brought up in that kind of environment. I just can't imagine that's good for any kid, you know? No, no, it doesn't sound very healthy. Um, <laughs> and I don't think that obviously family vloggers are completely the best choice for, um, no. for careers, but some people do partake in them and there's nothing we can really do to stop that. So the best we can do is hold them to account when they misuse their responsibility as parents. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And, and it's uh, just, uh, cause I mean, the kids are the, are the draw, like are the reason people watch the videos, right? So yeah. it would make sense that they would, if they're old enough, whatever, they get a cut of the money. Um, there's no laws in place to, to really prevent the parents from just taking all of it themselves. And who knows how often that happens with these channels. Like, that's just one one example that I can think of off the top of my head. But I don't know. It's a very yeah. murky situation all around. It, it sounds like it. It sounds like it. But I'm sure you dealt with it with yes. the um, aplomb that uh, you always do. You're a very kind, kind man. I do my best to be kind. I'm just full of sweetness and positivity <laughs> for all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good to hear. But um, but that's that's one thing that's been going on. I know. Um, I was actually one thing I wanted to do for that video was also incorporate the stoffers into it, because I feel like there's situations, uh, depending on the way you approach each topic, they they do kind of tie into each other. Um, but I know you had said you were. Are you still planning on? Oh, yeah, wait, I probably shouldn't have said yeah. that. Maybe I can yeah, no, I, I, I am, I am, I yeah. am, but um, 
obviously it's just going to come in time because I'm currently sidetracked by a topic which I won't mention actually because that one is a bit of a surprise right um I mean people are I mean it's it's gonna be huge uh, oh it's gonna to... be huge it's gonna be the only video on the topic I think at that time though I do actually know someone else who's making a video but they're um, oh, really but that was more coincidence thing and I think it will probably cover it from a much different ang- much more different angle so mm-hmm. um yeah. I'm looking forward to actually putting out perspective on it because I think it's something that has to or should be discussed at least because there's a lot of um vulnerable individuals involved and I think that to not pay it its deserved attention would uh would not be good. Mm-hmm. I think that we need a perspective because it's very hard to get perspective within those communities sometimes. And, definitely um, yeah 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 i'm Especially looking i'm one. looking forward to covering it but it's once again going to be a very long video very very long and um mm-hmm. not going to be as long as obviously my nikocado one which is truly exceptional in length but um i'm gonna have to evaluate how i plan to approach it because it's wait i thought you were talking out. i genuinely thought you were talking about the nikocado video oh no 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 uh. no 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 <laughs> This video Wait, is another so video. Okay, then I don't it's even another know. Another long video. What? Wait, do I know about it? Uh, I don't know if you do. Maybe you don't. I've been is working it, I'll, on I'll it. I'll take this part out, but is it... No. Uh, type it. I want to see. Okay, okay. I'll type it. Gotta be all secretive. Uh, oh, no, you did mention this. You, yeah. You mentioned this. I didn't know how long it was going to be. I thought the entire time you were talking about Nikikado. Because I know you said no. that one's going to be long. No, that one's very long. This one isn't as long, but it's, okay. it's so denser. So Nikikado is denser. still like, yeah. Nikikado and you're fine with is, that one not being a yeah. secret. Yeah, well, that one should be out by the time this video is out. Okay. All right, I assume now, you're now not I'm, uploading this it. one tonight. So <laughs> Probably not tonight. It'll probably be... I'm actually getting uh, like... So... <laughs> For the past, like, for as long as I can remember at my house, my Wi-Fi, my internet speed has just been atrocious, like, so incredibly bad. If I tried to upload something at home, it would take, like, 20 hours, not even exaggerating. And so most of the time I have to, recently, since I'm self-isolating, again, at my parents' house, I have to drive up to my apartment and do it there where my internet speed is significantly faster. But turns out we're actually getting faster internet tomorrow so hopefully we can get the we can get it out by then but it, it'll that's probably, a dub i don't think it'll be tonight yeah that's a dub i'd say exactly yeah i'd agree with that i drink to that my internet is um is okay it's always been okay and it will continue to be okay it's that's nothing all, you know, if it gets the job done that's all you need yeah that's all you need there's nothing wrong with that. I actually brought my router home uh, to to. I was gonna try and see if it works better here, and I haven't ha- I haven't hooked it up yet. So I think I'm just gonna wait until we get better Wi-Fi tomorrow and see if that does anything. Because um, hopefully it does, and I won't have to keep making trips back to my apartment. Although I am going, I'm probably gonna start living there again once school starts back up. Um, yeah, of course, of which makes sense. Yeah, I'm not still not really sure how that's what that's gonna look like <laughs> although it doesn't seem like anybody does <laughs> right now no no uh, <laughs> could you think i mean could you imagine world. that we would still w- when everything was first starting that we would still be dealing with this pandemic in no. august because oh. i c- i couldn't even imagine i was like oh i remember making fun of h3 for being like uh you know for wanting to close vidcon and it's like <laughs> Yeah, I mean that obviously there's no way you can have any any type of convention probably for the rest no. of the year. I mean like genuinely. No. I, Texas is kind of no. like the epicenter right now for the virus, which is yeah, cool. Yeah, it's not really the 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 hype, is it? No, so. it's not. Texas and Florida cases uh, cases are now going up. They were going down for a bit, now they're going back up, and I can only imagine when schools open again they're just going to spike and uh well, any I school mean, that tries to do in person, they're probably they're probably going to shut down again. Like, I, that's the only... That's... Yeah. The, I don't know how they would be able to continue with... Uh, is is the 2020 election... Is it gubernatorial in Texas, or...? It... Yeah. 
then they probably won't reopen because it would probably be, uh, yeah. if anything terrible happens on that front, then um, it'll probably just make it worse for our yeah, friend probably. Gregory. I think his name's Gregory, yeah. isn't he? Gregory Good old Abbott. Greg Abbott. Yes. Good, the, old, good old Governor Greggy. Yeah, my good man. Good old Greggy Poo. Yeah, he's very cute. Um, yeah, he's got a nice. He's he's got quite I, a, like a cute cute face uh, for his age. Yeah, yeah, he's he's looks like a little puppy dog, you know. In a, he does, uh, he certain, does. Certain light. Um, I think that he's making fantastic decisions, and he has handled <laughs> this crisis and all the the ideal way, which was opening bars and then deciding to close them once numbers started to spike. Um, yeah, he definitely knows what sense. he's doing. Yeah. Oh, um, I mean, who doesn't? I mean, what sort of Republican governor doesn't know what they're doing? Exactly. They they all get it. They all understand it. Trump, one hundred percent. I I feel very confident in his skills. It's called herd immunity, mm. and Greg has it down. Have Greg you will not heard stop of it? Everyone. Yeah. Oh, 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 I heard that joke. <gasps> mm, oh, shit. You heard oh. that joke. Oh, my God. Uh, you know, this is why they missed us, I think. Yeah, uh, you, guys, little, you guys. You guys. Cute little riffs like You've been these. wondering where we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but, no, nah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so ready to, obviously, everybody's ready for this to just be over. Um, I, I, I feel like we're not going to be back to normal till like like probably spring 2021 if i were to yeah. just guess like that's i agree i don't know until we get a vaccine or like a sufficient way to treat it um it's just people are going to keep getting it i guess and uh there was actually a lot of people around me that just got it because there was like a church camp that i don't know why mm. they didn't cancel but they they had a they had a church camp recently for like Jesus was going to protect them yeah, yeah, the Holy Spirit was going to come down and shield everybody from the the you know the demons, um, the, the the Satan who has possessed the the virus, and um, that mean, didn't exactly happen. If and they a can lot of pray kids the gay away, getting it. Well, yeah, that's true. You would think that they'd be able to pray the virus away, but it didn't exactly happen that way. And then a lot now, a lot of a lot of high school kids down here have it, and. Uh, it's great. It's really cool. Sounds pretty trendy. Everyone's getting it. Yeah. Well, there's also people that go to Corona parties, which I didn't think was was real. I thought that was just something that like Fox News came up with. Was like, oh, these kids are going to Corona parties and <laughs> trying to catch the virus. Like that sounds like something they'd make up. But uh, no, that's very much a real thing. I learned um, that oh. whoever catches the whoever tests positive first after the party gets a ton of money i guess to pay for the medical bills because you know it's <laughs> how Maybe the health care system insurance. is over here yeah probably not though if they're in college um what was i gonna say i forgot something um i don't mm. know what i was gonna it's say okay. you I just forget sound like you having I such I... a good time with with coronavirus um yeah i mean my parents or my family seem to think uh they've all had coronavirus because uh one of my dad's friends it's came like back everybody from thinks that an early hot spot and then my parents became quite ill and my brother was a bit ill as well i was obviously not ill because i transcend illness um mm, yeah the the illness knows not to mess with the right well, opinion. I, I have developed I've developed illness immunity. I destroy illnesses now. Whenever mm. they get in a certain <laughs> really? distance of me, I just radiate this energy that destroys them. So mm. if anyone just wants to you know, come near me, I'll protect you I'll from the come virus. Near you. Um, <laughs> that's, that's how it works. I am basically <clears throat> indestructible. Um, mm. Obviously... Uh, if I do get ill and if I do die at any point, um, then it is just propaganda. And I am, in fact, <laughs> all right. I'm probably just <laughs> down in somewhere like You're hiding Lesotho. out in Cuba with Tupac. Yeah, you're, uh, yeah, you're just exactly. on the low. Uh-huh, working exactly. on a new on video, the, on probably. Exactly, on the DL, working on yeah. a new video. 
Um, featuring, featuring Tupac. Featuring uh, Tupac and X. And, Biggie uh, Smalls. Biggie, Jimmy Hoffa. You're going to get the whole gang on this one. Uh, <laughs> and Elvis Presley. Yeah, Elvis Presley, of course. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Do you think Michael Jackson's dead? I mean... That guy's definitely he alive. Did, he did <laughs> die, didn't he? So no, he's alive. alive. <laughs> no, I think he's alive. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, I mean, we could ask him. I think he and Epstein are chilling somewhere, uh, doing you-know-what mm. with you-know-who. Um, oh, yeah. In a, in a special place. <laughs> <laughs> sounds sounds delightful. Um, <laughs> thank you for sharing those details with me, John. That's exactly the thought I needed at this time. That's just my pred- that's my prediction, at least. And I'm never wrong, right? So, oh, no, 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 or else you'd be called the wrong opinion. <laughs> mm, yeah, mm. yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think has anybody ever called you the wrong opinion because that's. Yeah. That's pretty good. That, oh, really? Yeah. I, oh, whenever mm, someone says that, I get burned good and proper. <laughs> it's like high fives I'm shocked around. That somebody, somebody came up with that. Uh, oh, the left opinion is pretty good, too. I don't know then, if anybody's ooh, thought of that. But, whoa. Um, that's a left freebie opinion, for anybody else. Bro, there. that's crazy. Why has no one thought of that? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what? You know what, John? I should have mm, a second mm. channel and call ooh, it the ooh. Left Opinion. <laughs> no, that's a, that's an idea right there. That's. I think you're finally onto something, mate. Mate, I uh, have you I'm thought about doing on, a second I'm channel? I'm always on something. I'll tell you that. Would much. you? Yeah, I know that. Would you? Would you uh, ever do a second channel? Uh, yeah, yeah. In honesty. Yeah. In all honesty, the reason that I haven't yet is simply because I'm just not happy with any setup. Um, mm. So there is kind of, I am kind of keen for something a bit more casual, maybe face cam even, but I wouldn't necessarily Ooh, make it second chart. Spicy. I kind of just make it its own little project um, because mm-hmm. why not? And it would yeah. allow me to do more videos in the moment and just talk about topics then and there. Um, while obviously mm-hmm. um, providing some nuance and insight, I'd hope. So, so just more immediate, uh, like kind of your immediate analysis of something that's going yeah, on. Yeah, 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 good. yeah. I think a lot I of people think, would like that. Yeah. I think that would be, I think that would be good. And, um, and uh, D'Angelo Wallace, obviously, has been doing very well recently. Oh yeah, um, that guy and and popped his off. It, it, and it it wasn't even his main channel; it was his second channel. That's true. Um, I always got them confused because they were both D'Angelo Wallace, just typed yeah, differently. So I was yeah. like, I well, don't even know which out. one is. Gotta look yeah. out for the details, Jonathan. The yeah, devil you're right, is in I, the details. The devil is in the details. It's a very good point. But I started the uh, second channel at the beginning of the year, thinking that I was going to start posting on was it. Is this the and Lego channel? Are. And it's not the Lego channel. It's it's um, Jobbery. It's inspired <gasps> by you, actually. And oh. I've only pl- I've plugged it literally once at the end of my Kanye video, and then that's that's it. And um, because I don't really have any, I don't know what to put on there, so I need well, to figure something just out. We should we should come we over, come over Why not? here. Come okay, over here yeah, I'll, and we'll do a camera like setup. Yes. We'll do we'll be mm. like Cody Co and his friend I, whose name I can never remember. Who? Yeah, Noel Miller. Noel Noel Miller. Mm-hmm. Um y- I'll be uh You'll be Cody. Be Cody? I want to be you Noel can, because okay. he's You want to be hot. Noel. Um yes. Well, well, I and, can see uh, I can see the similarities then I suppose. Also, I wait, how tall are you again? Um, I'm five ten and a half. Really? I don't know why I thought you were shorter. I have no idea no. that's don't know why that's surprising, but yeah. Because the Cody and Noel are both five seven kings. So oh. I'm already like them in that sense. But yeah. yeah. We could definitely pull it off, I think. We could react. I think we could pull it off easily. We could react. What, what would you want to react to? Um, we could react to Joe. To Joe? Rogan? Yeah. Joe Mama. Okay, well, I thought you meant Rogan, so... <laughs> <sighs> I guess well, I'm wrong again. 
Uh, <laughs> we can react to, 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 to Joe Rogan too if you wanted, but it's okay. Yeah, that'd it's be okay. sick. Can you I, imagine how boring that would be reacting to a Joe Rogan podcast? <laughs> <laughs> that kind of ties into another thing that's been going on, which I'm not sure how involved you are, though. Maybe, yeah. maybe if you heard from Internet Historian, uh, the, the uh, Twitch versus YouTube debacle happening right now, which I think is just kind of... I completely understand. I, it's one of those things where I really can see both both arguments, um, and I agree with different parts of each. It's like, yeah, um, a lot of these Twitch streamers will will just react to certain YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. And, of course, I use the term react loosely because uh, there are a lot... I mean, again, we're kind of painting with a broad brush here, but... Um, there, there are quite a few notable streamers who don't exactly react enough. No. Some might say, and I, I definitely get that. Uh, it kind of reminds me of of Jinx back in 2016, how he would yeah. purposely go out of his way to uh, record himself, quote unquote, reacting to some stupid video, and then he would edit it down, upload it, and he'd upload like ten of these a day. And just manipulate the algorithm to where he would just get so many views and money. And uh, he, he kind of... I mean, that's scummy. That's entirely... Yeah. You're, you're not transformative. It's, it's it's you know, obviously there's no way to defend that. Yeah. Yeah. I have been following it uh, loosely, I suppose you could say. Mm -hmm. I've just been kind of meandering in my own world and just following it when it came up on my feed of my private Twitter feed where I dwell nowadays when necessary yes. because obviously I have to maintain always lurking with a few in the shadows yes, yes that's, that's me James that's that what I is like to me call it. Mm -hmm. lurking lurking and um, I've seen some of the arguments and I think they are reasonable and I do not really rate many of these twitch streamers and their reactions. Um, mm. I think that, okay, in the moment, Twitch streams probably may have a bit more, um, I guess, uh, merit to, to exactly why at that point it wouldn't be a huge problem. Um, but I think mm -hmm. when they re-upload it to YouTube, I think that's a bit silly because obviously then you are just um using people's content mm -hmm. without really bringing much to the table yourself i think that's fair yeah and, but you're uh, fine yeah. with them but you're fine with them reacting to it on a stream you're saying i just mean as yeah long as I, they don't. I suppose obviously i think everything should be done in moderation but i'm not a, the person sure. who can decide that and if I with them, I'd obviously be a bit more expressive in my reactions and try and offer something because for me, it would just be draining to base yeah. my popularity or my content off just watching someone's video and go occasionally going, oh, and um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So obviously, I'm not going to go out of my way to chastise an individual who may participate in that but at the same time i don't really think it's particularly uh credit worthy um and if i were them i'd probably <clears throat> look uh towards more original ways to source their um their kitty mm -hmm. because I think the time will come where they piss off someone probably who they shouldn't piss off and then Twitch will get into a load of legal hubbub about it and mm -hmm. then yeah. they'll probably be in trouble too and they'll, Twitch will probably react re because Twitch always reacts um, and then mm -hmm. everything's fucked everything's yeah. already fucked but it'll be even more fucked Yes. More fucked. And, and we don't Which need it to be more fucked. Right. No, that's the last thing we need right now. But, I mean, obviously it depends on who we're talking about. Like, I don't know a lot of streamers because I never go on no. Twitch. I've seen clips of, you know, just there being, like, straight, like, minutes of dead <laughs> air. And, obviously, I feel like... I don't know. It's, it's hard because... 
if you stream for so long, of course there's going to be like some of these people stream for like six hours a day, which yeah. I think is insane. I don't understand how anybody could have the the stamina for that. That just sounds no. so exhausting. I know you're sitting there and I know you're watching a video, but just having to record yourself for that long, I could never. I can't, like every day, like that's unbelievable. And um, in a way, I kind of commend that. But yeah. at the same time, yeah, you should at least be. Uh, making an attempt to be expressive and give a perspective on whatever it is you're watching yeah. just so you're not like just cuz i get the argument of like oh um i would have never discovered this person's content if i hadn't been watching this stream it's like well that's great but that doesn't mean that they just shouldn't react that doesn't give them a pass to just sit there the entire time yeah like you know what i mean like you no, should no, I, you should be pu- yeah. like it's great to push that content to more people like that's that's a great thing and it can uh you know depending on how big these streamers are it can bring a lot of attention to certain channels on youtube and, and other creators and that there's nothing wrong with that but uh at least make sure that you're adding your own flair to it in the process mm. so that uh you know you're not just yeah. complete you know it's it yeah. gets murky if you're not um, it is saying much i guess yeah, know. yeah, and I, I think that they should but it depends on the stream make some attempts. So. And I don't believe they're incapable. They must have some technical expertise. They must be have some sort of wit about them. I mean, they've done all well, right if you, for if themselves. If you've gotten big enough on Twitch, yeah, you should be able to rely on your personality to get you through whatever video you're watching. Like, there's really no excuse to just sit there and eat your lunch. Uh, while you just let this video play in the background and you occasionally go, yeah. ooh, ooh. No, it doesn't, it's stupid. And um, I don't know. It's it's hard to paint with such broad strokes, like I said, but yeah, I have seen I have seen clips of some of these streamers where they just, <laughs> it seems like they're not making much of, it, of an effort. No, I can, under, I can understand that. I think uh, your concerns seem completely valid and I would wholeheartedly concur with them. Mr. Orbretti. Thank um, you. That's not my name. I'm not Italian, but that's... Yeah. That's I like <laughs> you, Italian. <laughs> you want me to change my ethnicity for you? I actually, ooh, I think I'm, ooh, I think I'm well, German. I don't really well, know if I'm being Well, you do honest. do a pretty good German accent. Do I? Let's yes. <laughs> Uh huh. I do. I do pull it out pretty frequently. Yeah, uh, it's my party yeah, you trick. You do pull it out. I'm not gonna you do it do. here. You are very good at pulling it out, Mister. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that <laughs> immediately as it came out I of my mean, mouth. Like, you were I can't asking give for it. That. You were asking yeah, for it. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe subconsciously, but it really didn't cross my mind until I said it. <laughs> uh, um, uh, no, my mom's family is German, and I have no idea about my dad's side of the family. It's a complete mystery. Yeah, I don't know what Denton what? is. Um, Denton. I mean, know. as said, um, you you. Oh, I, I assume. I assume you already got your surname out there. So my full name's already out there. Oh, uh, there from. no fun. The world. It was, is my just entire mean. name has been out there since the Lego Channel. Oh, so tragic. Tragic. I'm not even gonna try to. Well, yeah. I, I said. Um, I actually uh, know someone in the UK uh, called Jonathan Denton. That's right. And, yeah, uh, you told me about that. Yes, and, uh, we had that mix-up where I sent... <laughs> your, your dad was confused when he yeah. saw my name. <laughs> like, yes. Why are, you- <laughs> Why are you sending money to my friend, James? And I'm like, he's not your friend. He's my friend now. <laughs> and... and, and, and uh, <laughs> You stole me from him. I was actually—I used to be really good friends with your dad. See, here's the yeah. truth, James: there was never another Jonathan Denton. It was always me the entire time. And, uh, well, I just well, got tired well, of John, your dad. You really, yeah. to, it says to make him angry, as I'm going to befriend your son, and uh, I think it's worked out. Well, credit where credit's due, John. <laughs> uh, you really glowed up. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Some might say I've um, I look much younger, like decades younger now. <laughs> you do, you do. It's yeah. a complete transformation. I'm very <laughs> impressed. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, I'm trying to think about what else has been going on because obviously there's a lot that we haven't talked about. But um, when we when we miss so much, you know, and when, when we're so irregular with these, it's it's like you just kind of forget. Yeah, what all has been going on. Nothing, so that's why we just need to be it's, more. It's hard to follow it all. 
But uh, you know, I've had some some me- some medical complications, which is why I haven't Likewise. been able to record. I guess we could like, talk about that. I I, yeah. I have been um, so the other. I guess this is probably three weeks ago now. I had like I was just sitting at my at my desk working on. I was trying to work on an intro for a video, which ended up never happening. Um, uh, but uh, I was actually going to do a video on Mia Khalifa. I think I mentioned to you. Yes, um, you did. And then that didn't. I made an intro for it. I might actually put that on the second channel because I don't know when that video is coming out, if ever. But the the intro mm-hmm. is done. And I was like, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then um, some developments happened with the story that we won't get into. But it made it mm-hmm. pretty difficult for me to do the video at that time. So anyway, I was doing that. And um, I just happened to turn my head. And I felt like this overwhelming sense of like dizziness. Like just in like in my head, like it felt like the room was just spinning around me, and it, it made no sense. I was like, uh, maybe I haven't eaten, but the thing is, I had eaten, and uh, uh. Yeah, it was very scary. Yeah, it was very anxiety-inducing because I had no mm. idea what was causing this. I was like, is this how I is how I die? I don't know. And uh, every time I moved my head around, that's what would happen. And so I eventually just had to lay down. And, um, you know, I, I had to go to several doctors because nobody knew what it was. And because uh, t- I could barely walk. I mean, like it was it was not fun. Um, and mm. they eventually determined that it had to do with like the muscles in my neck and like, you know, my upper back um, having a hard time supporting my giant head, I guess. And uh, it was causing me to be dead because like for a while they thought it was like an inner ear problem uh, because that can cause vertigo. But it usually happens to people who have had like head trauma. So that would make sense. So I went to a physical yeah. therapist and I had acupuncture, which is not fun. And uh, now it's it's doing a little bit better. But for like two weeks, that was something that I had to deal with. And um, it was not it just came out of nowhere. It was not the greatest thing. But you know i guess we just have to have to roll with it sometimes oh uh, i hear you there because i've been rolling with my own uh problems mm. complications that uh i have spoken about on my instagram and on my youtube community on this youtube community post i did mention it briefly but um i've been suffering from irregular pulsations from my Mm. right in her ear and um it's not good it is very strange uh very strange mm-hmm. indeed and it's kind of been around um before but recently it's intensified and um it's increased in its regularity so we're not entirely sure what to do and i saw a consultant about it well no i didn't see a cons- i saw a surgeon about it Mm-hmm. Um, who was also um, an ENT uh, specialist, ear, nose, and throats, um, mm. because they're, they're, all those uh, systems are somewhat intertwined. And um, mm-hmm. we did the first set of tests, um, and he didn't find anything. And he said, "Actually, your hearing is far above average." So that was good. Really? I'm glad my okay. hearing is nice, but obviously, I still have a problem which causes me great distress so it'd be good to Mm -hmm. resolve that as soon as possible and now it's just a case of arranging the MRI scan Um, however it's going to be a while because um, of the current COVID situation it appears to have uh, delayed Mm -hmm. certain appointments being made and uh, MRI scans is one of them it appears that's my understanding at least and I hope it's resolved as soon as possible so I don't have to go insane and um, sometimes Mm -hmm. it'll just come and it'll just stay there all day and my life will be misery Um, I happened on Saturday when I was out camp doing some no not campaigning but I was was doing some local (laughs) work for a political party and um, and it it just came on um and um, mm. it was hell, but I still do the work with a with a smile on my face. Mm, I bump into some nice people, um, yeah. and we bond over uh, getting rid of our Tory MP. And um, nice. nice, that's I mean, it's, it is a nice here. thought. I believe we'll make the it happen. The based opinion. Yeah, it. I, I. I mean, it's 
it's it's a good it's a good it's a good thing to do because it when you I became so tired of the Twitter activism that um I felt constantly just inundated by and it was just so people so self-righteous but at the same time I didn't want to go and lecture everyone and say oh you guys should should be doing x y and z so I just thought well why don't I do x y and z and let everyone else do what they want to do on twitter it there twitter's not for me but at the same time i'm sure there are people who have used twitter for positive social um progress and i'm not going to stand in their way and mm-hmm. lecture them um so i'm just going to go out and do my own kind of work which i think will hope bring about its own progress so but yes, that's a side note. My ears still being a bastard, and mm. um, in that's the so in the mean in the meantime, I'm just trying to cope um, and trying not to bring it on because it comes on in episodes. So right. um, does anything in particular like trigger it the most, um, like, or does it just come out of nowhere? Lack of sleep appears to trigger it. Stress appears to trigger it. Um, I mean, the direct trigger typically appears to be something pressure related. And, um, I've noticed its onset appears to be when there's a change, a rapid change of pressure from the internal, um, side, some gastric movement pass up through my throat and, and it will go into my ear and, and it will knock something up there and suddenly it'll start playing up basically um mm, yeah. but there are definitely certain <clears throat> precursors which are also present which may increase um the possibility of its occurrence and um so i try and sleep well avoid stress currently which is obviously a challenge in such an industry because it is quite high stress and you're doing multiple things at once normally mm-hmm. i mean yeah. i was obviously i we mentioned this but i was on a call with with another person discussing something else and then we came over here to record this podcast and i'm also writing well not writing but i'm composing a kahoot currently um for a meeting with um with the politics friends and so Mm-hmm. It's all there is a lot that piles on, yeah, yeah, for sure. e- exactly. So, yeah, you I'm managing it all. Um, and the days when my ear does play up, I just try and take a bit slower. Um, I have some um drugs, um, nice. which help nice. me, which help sedate me, which help relax me. Um, ketamine, you can which, just say ketamine. But. allow me to get good uh, good night's sleep um, but I've realized that I do not really want to take more than a few of them because they can affect my ability to hold conversation uh, this was revealed when I recently did a podcast um, I was really really excited for it um, it was with Woody's Game Attack, PKA, um, popular podcast. Hmm. Um, and I, I, I because uh, obviously one of the hosts of it is FPS Russia, uh, or well, Kyle now. Um, mm-hmm. And I was looking forward to having like a good discussion about um, what he's been up to and obviously my video about it. And Kyle actually had, um, had uh, I had eye surgery um on the on the mm. day for um for for i think it was i think it was eye cancer um oh, wow. and it appears that um he was suffering from some additional complications caused from surgery so he pulled out and they were like well we're gonna go ahead anyway um how many hosts was it was it just two or no uh there's they they always they have three hosts they, and okay, me so the guests. Just you, okay, and um it. yeah and I just wasn't there. I was, mm. I, because the, 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 those last few days had been quite bad um, with my ear and I mm-hmm. was on a lot of diazepam. And um, one thing that I've now learned is that diazepam has quite a long half-life. 
and um, that means it sticks around in the system and I was clearly out of it and I clearly was trying to overcompensate for a lack of energy and so I was just very chaotic uh, all over Mm. the place and it was uh, disappointing to look back at because it could have been a very chill discussion with some chill dudes and all that Mm -hmm. jazz but um in the end i just wasn't on the vibe unfortunately yeah well i mean it's good um, that you can look back on that and recognize that you know you can improve in whatever like we could get let's just get them on the podcast then we can have a a, a round two Uh, (laughs) uh well i mean i did i did message the organizer who was um who was in charge of getting guests and apologizing and he hasn't he hasn't replied um that's how so. he is <laughs> she's just like no, no he's I'm just kidding. he's I, I do i do feel bad for him because he was the one getting flack and 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 well he was, he was getting obviously, obviously i got flack for being shit but what? he got flack too <laughs> wait what podcast for, for picking is this? me i don't know if you want to plug it but um what oh which... no i already said P- pka podcast okay i didn't catch that um but um and, and he didn't deserve any flack for my garbage performance. Um, it was it was <laughs> my fault that that I was I was just having a a rather terrible day, was, and I yeah. couldn't quite adapt to the environment. That was, I mean, it's not uh, even completely needed. your fault if uh, you were on so many meds, honestly. Well, yeah, no, it wasn't my fault, but I I shouldn't have been. I guess I shouldn't have been so e- easily persuaded because. I was kind of blinded by the fact that it was go- it would been a cool dynamic, and then um, that kind of baited me in, and then uh, that wasn't actually there, and so it was just a normal podcast where um, where it all kind of didn't quite work for me. I mean, I like the guys; mm-hmm. they seem pretty nice, friendly, chill, um, but sure. But yeah. uh, I mean, I mean it, sometimes I was, the vibes I just, are just I wasn't off. Yeah, chill there's and, nothing you can chill enough, and um, I I feel I feel there wasn't there wasn't quite the cr- crossover uh, appeal as well. I think that that kind of was kind of lost when um, when Kyle pulled out, unfortunately, which is a great shame because um, because it, that I think that would have been cool discussion to have but once that kind of drops out you 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 kind of left with not too much they had watched some my content we did get a few questions about that but then it kind of went off into various areas and i i i spoke about things that people that the, the audience was definitely not interested in i went off on tangents and <laughs> lost my way unfortunately i was going from a to b and i was just not organized and i think that was no, kind of okay. present with my um with the go Kanaru podcast well i was just kind of a bit away uh, well i mean that one was a bit i mean you it know, was it was chaotic that was it our was first chaotic. time having somebody and, yeah yeah and i realized that i need to be a bit more i guess phlegmatic 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 i think I that's t- the word um yeah. when approaching these things because that's probably um the best the best appeal and um i think that that will be the aim now and hopefully this podcast has ran a bit smoother thanks to that and um yeah and yeah. hopefully it's going to be a step in the right direction because i think that's sure. what made me so cagey about coming back to do another episode of this because i just kind of had a bad run i felt with um a few podcast appearances and right. um and that's fair i mean like i feel like just the more we do the more you're, I mean, both of us are gonna like warm up to the to this kind of format. You know what I mean? Because it, yeah. it is different. Like I don't think either of us do it enough to really be pros at it or anything. And it does take no. a while to kind of get your footing. And I think that's normal and that's it's fine. But um, no. I also yeah, understand. I, I think yeah. I think it's that's that's that is natural. And I think for that sure it will take time to find the, your feet. But at the end. But at the same time, I also felt I was losing my feet a little. Um, the feet that I already had. And mm. um, the feet were running off in a direction that I was not aware existed. And I could not follow them. So I needed to 
bring it back, take a reflection and think about how I want to approach podcasts and what sort of demeanor I want to emanate. And mm. I think that <clears throat> yeah. we can do that. We can do this nice, calm, chill thing with a bit of a uh, flatte. Well, no, not fl flirtation. Flatte just flirting, Flir flirting, Flir flirtation. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm creating new, new formal words of words that don't <laughs> even need to be formalized. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I like that word though. I like uh, flirt, flirtation. Flirtation. Nice. Flirt, I think flirtation flirt, is a word. You know, let's have a look. Flirtation. I don't. Flirtation. Flirtatious is a word. I don't know about flirtation. No, flirtation is a word. Behavior okay. that demonstrates a playful sexual Well, there you go. That's why they, you're somewhere. always right. That's why they That's call why you. I am right. That's why they call you. Is a word. The, yeah. Mm. So we are vibing mm. here. Simply vibing. In I think the, that'll be. That's what this one's going to be called. Simply, Sim vibing. simply vibing. I think that's a great one. I think that's a great this has been one. a pretty we'll chill ask. one. It's well, been it pretty has chill. Been great. It has, and, and I uh, think that's what we got to do. Yes, and I think we also just have to be more consistent. I think that's our yes. key right now. It's just at the very least, every week we sit. And really, that's not that hard. Like we, we maybe put it off like way more than we yeah. should because we think that it's like this giant task because like, that's kind of how I see it but then once you get into it it's like oh this is actually very simple yeah. there's no reason to put it off so no no there isn't no there isn't and <clears throat> we're just doing what friends should do exactly. having a little conversation um a little cute. chin whack mm. um and I think we do it all right when we're both in the room and we're both in form mm -hmm. I think there's no issue at all I think we're just um, having a good time and um, I agree and I think on that note I think uh, I don't know if you want to plug your Instagram since yeah Twitter's yeah really I guess that's the only place that people can properly find me now so yeah. I mean it's the dot right dot opinion nice. um, I imagine you had to have answer. the dots because the right opinion was just already taken the entire thing. Uh, yeah, uh, even though I couldn't find right. the account with the name the right oh, opinion, really? it told me it was already taken. Um, the, in fact, there were multiple wow. accounts uh, that were taken that shouldn't have been, in my opinion. So I don't know if Instagram were trying to set me up. Uh, trying to, I think it was a conspiracy against you uh, yes. as an individual. That's the they only way didn't want to see, see me shine. Um, mm. So. Yes, that's where people can find me now. Um, and yeah. uh, and I'm just, I'm still just, just J. Aubrey White T on everything. I, mean, I don't obviously, understand how anybody watching this or listening, whatever, would not know that. <laughs> I actually, I mean, my Twitter's still there. It's just not active. It's. I appreciate you only following me. That's pretty adorable. Oh, well, um, <laughs> you're, you're worth following, my friend. Uh, um, you too, you too. You too too sweet i i did a pewdiepie basically i yeah got rid of my account yeah he's, his account is like it's still there yeah just to be sure i think that's sensible i think that's sensible um yeah. i think a lot of people are because i've seen replies to the tweets actually asking if it's really you um it I feel is like me. there needs to be some yeah <laughs> I, I wonder if there's like any indicator you could add to that account to like really prove that it was you a dick pic oh yeah you could do that <laughs> Yeah, I like the way you think. <laughs> yeah, there will be no dick pics yet. That's yet. One day. One day. Oh, yeah. wait, we need to do a clap sync. We do need to do the clap, the clap sync. The clap sync, my the favorite clap, time. The clap sync, the classic clap sync. Yes. Okay, okay, I'm I'm doing this one because okay. it's and you're important gonna mess it to up. me. You're going to mess it me, up. Me, never. Look, 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 let me show you how Clapsing goes. See? You can't what? tell. That's not how that works because I don't know when I'm supposed to do it. I clap and you clap at the same time. <laughs> right, but you have to it's count down. It's not rocket science. No, uh, but you have to count down in order for oh, me to know. I'm I, I, how, am I, how else am I supposed oh. to know? Okay, okay, okay. Just for okay. you, because you're not... 
intelligent enough to know when I'm going to clap. <laughs> to read into your mind to know when it's coming. Yes. Yeah. I expect Sorry. that is my that's you a to be a psychic. On my part. Yeah. Okay. So okay. go ahead and give me the countdown, and then I'll okay. know. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. You ready? Oh, you I'm ready. ready. Okay. Sixty-nine. Sixty-eight. Sixty-seven. <laughs> 66. Mm-hmm. 65, I actually want to hear you go through all 64, these. 64. 63. Just so we can pad out the runtime. 62. 61. Mm-hmm. 60. 59. Mm-hmm. 58. Mm-hmm. 57. 56. 55. <laughs> 54. <laughs> 53. 52. Okay, next. 51. <laughs> next. 50. 49. 48. Mm-hmm. 47. Mm-hmm. 46. James, you, 45. You do 44. Not have to. 43. This is not something 42. Else. 41. I was joking. 40, 39. I didn't actually mean for you to, to go through 36, every single number. 35. 34, but I feel like at this point, you're, you're too into the 32, bit that you, you 31, are actually going to do it. 30. 29. <laughs> 28. 27. 26, you might be my least favorite person on earth. I know I like to say otherwise. 23. But this 22. Is 21, something else right here. 20. This is 19. Mm-hmm. 18. 17. 16, You're going insane. 15, you should probably 14, get off 13, whatever meds you're on 12, at the moment. 11, because 10, it's not doing nine, you good. 8, um, 7, 6, <laughs> God, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That was actually Ooh. perfect. <laughs> you just needed a good run up, that's all. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the <laughs> anticipation that really. Um, puts us up for success. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> in it the build up. <laughs> oh, the price of being such a galaxy brain.